Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of classifying shapes and solids. This is standard 3.6a in the great state of Texas. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause this video, work the problem out on your own, and then when you're finished, unpause it, we will look at our answers together. So we have some figures that are in two different sets, set A and set B. We have a clue here. It says the figures in set A, and there's only two of them, have a common characteristic, and the figures in set B do not have that characteristic. So we need to find something that set A figures have that set A does not. So I'll put a little check, and I'll put a little X right here. So before we get working, let's see if we can name these figures, because that's going to be extremely important. We're using this word figures. Some of these are solids. Most of these are solids. So when we're talking about solids, we're talking about 3D shapes. So most of these are 3D solids. We just got one shape right there in set B. So this is a cylinder. And so a cylinder is kind of like a can of soup or a can of soda. So right here we have a sphere. A sphere is a ball. It's like a circle that is in three dimensions. Now this is a prism, but this is a special type of prism. A prism just means like a, like a 3D shape. So when you have a prism and all the faces are squares, we call that a cube. Now this is a cone. We know cones because we like ice cream cones. We've seen traffic cones. All of those are solids. The only thing that is a, what we would call a shape, which is 2D, is going to be this right here. And that's a hexagon. We know that's a hexagon because it has six sides. And just think of hex and six. They both have that X in there. So now we know what these shapes and solids are. Let's see if we can figure out what these terms mean because there's a lot of vocabulary terms that we need to know. So set A has no vertices. Now remember, when we're finding these things, it needs to be true for set A and then false for set B. So we've got set A has no vertices. Well, a vertex, when I say vertices, vertex is when you've got just one. Vertices is more than one. It's typically what we call a corner. So that's where typically three or more edges will meet, or uh, two sides if you're talking about a 2D shape. So there are no corners in my cylinder. There are no corners on my sphere because you don't have any edges. So vertexes are going to need an edge. So it looks like that might work for set A. What about set B? If it's false for set B, that means it does have vertices. Well, we know our cube has got a ton of vertices. It's got eight corners. This hexagon has got six vertices. Those where the sides meet. You might think a cone doesn't have a vertex, but it actually does. But it's a slightly different vertex. This point right up here is actually a vertex, but it's a vertex of a cone, not the same as the vertex of a cube. So they're, we use the same word, but they're slightly different. So. This actually might work. I think this might be true. So let's see what we have for G, H, and J. Set A has at least one circular base. Well, it does have a circular base here. But you know what? It does not work because, look, there is no circular base on our sphere. So that is not true for A. And you know what? It's um, If this is going to be true for A, that means it needs to be false for B, but it's not false for B because I've got a circular base on this cone, so that is definitely wrong. Have at least one edge. Well, edges are straight, and there are no straight lines in H. These are circular lines up on my cylinder, so they do not count. And then finally, J. They have faces that are polygons. Now that is not true. Polygon is closed and once again straight. And these bases here are circles, so that is incorrect. The answer is F. Uh, 